Since the 1980s, many people in the black community have expressed their concerns that African American men are an endangered species, that African American men are on the verge of becoming extinct in America, with problems like the crack epidemic, the rise of gangs, and the fact that there are now more African American men in prison than are in college, it will be hard to debate this idea. From the 1980s, the amount of African American men that have been murdered goes easily into the tens of thousands. Unfortunately, nearly two decades after the beginning of the crack epidemic, African American men are still killing each other at alarming rates in inner cities throughout this nation. While the black community was attempting to deal with the drugs and the gangs, a new enemy arose which is more dangerous than any threat the black community has ever faced. That threat is HIV and AIDS. Although it was once thought to be a disease which killed only gay men and drug addicts who shoot up, AIDS is now killing straight black men. The fact is that HIV is now the number one killer of African American men from the ages of 25 to 44. And some organizations suggest the number is more like 15 to 44. And yet, if you look around the black community, there is very little, if any, discussion of this fact. Although African Americans make up about 12% of the American population, they make up over 38% of America's AIDS cases. In terms of new infections, as of 2000, African Americans account for over 54% of all new HIV cases and 47% of all new AIDS cases. Furthermore, the rate of AIDS for 100,000 for African Americans is eight times the rate of whites and twice the rate of Latinos. But that's where our biggest problem is coming from. You know, people are wondering, well, why in the world is, are the uh, numbers going up on the African American community, especially the men? Well, if they want to know the answer, all they have to do is look around and see. You know, our ignorance is what's killing us. Um, I guess one of the most important ones is just showing that the rate of new infection among African American men is greater than anyone else. And the rate of new infection among African American women are greater than the rate of infection among the whole population also. So I think that's, you know, a very important um, thing that we need to really look at. Like a lot of infections are happening specifically to the African American community and to males. Why is that? How could a preventable disease be so dangerous to African American men in particular and the black community in general? If the information is out there and there are so many people trying to educate the black community, why does the rate of HIV infection continue to rise amongst African American men? The question must be asked, are black men protecting themselves? Not really, no. Um, black man has not it's basically not even a half-hearted effort to use any protection at all. This is still that feeling of, I ain't gonna worry about the future, because that's a, lot of, that's a big problem in the African-American community as far as black men in general sometimes feel like they don't have a future, so why am I gonna worry about protecting myself? For what? For what reason? So that's also that mentality that I don't have no future, so why should I have to concern myself with what may happen 20, 30, 40 years down the road? We come up with the excuses that it's uncomfortable, it just ain't right, I don't need no protection, or whatever. A lot of people believe that birth control, women on birth control pills is gonna 
um, protect them from STDs and HIV, and that's not necessarily that's not the case at all. You've heard uh, brothers actually say that? Yes. Wow. I've met I've met quite a few that have said that. It's more or less a thing where people don't care for the simple fact that if they did a whole lot of stuff that happens nowadays with like sex, not even unprotected sex, can you still catch it? Condom break or whatever. If people cared, they wouldn't do it. They just don't think it's going to happen to them. That's the bottom line when it comes down to it. Because you don't think it's going to be you until it does happen. Some people just don't care. You know, some people, uh, you know, they, they more so deal with it more so in a, uh, in a reflective standpoint. Man, I should have protected myself. You know what I mean? African American men are in desperate need of discussion about HIV. Firstly, so that they can increase their level of awareness. And secondly, so that they can help educate other African American men. However, there is not nearly enough discussion about HIV and AIDS and how they affect African American men. One of the major reasons for this fact is the fact that African American men are worried about what other black men will think if they begin talking about HIV. But HIV is too serious of a problem to avoid talking about it because it might feel a little uncomfortable. You think that just because you don't shoot up and you, you don't have a man in bed with you that you're basically uh, exempt from HIV and it doesn't work that way. You know, anybody who is not in a monogamous relationship and knows exactly who they're dealing with, you're, you're, you're leaving yourself susceptible. And that's what a lot of people, especially black youth and young black people, don't understand. You know, still. Uh, I think it's just, it's still, on a whole, a gay man's disease. And to start talking about it still yet, would almost associate you to being gay or homosexual or towards that area that they don't want to be near to. To start talking about, hey, you know, HIV is our problem and that we need to do something about this might pull them towards, you know, a little too close to the gay community than they would like to be. So I've been asked to talk to a couple of groups of school kids and the first thing they ask me is, well, if you're not gay, how did you get HIV? I said, by not being careful. There are many barriers within the black community which keep black men from educating themselves about HIV and AIDS. Um, one of the major barriers among African American men is the uh, machoism that exists. Um, it's, in the black community, it's more, it's more exaggerated. You have